to America, home to some of the best road trips in the world. There are actually some quirks to driving out here though. For example, did you know you can go on a red light? Watch our tips to find out how we can drive safer and smarter in the US of A. Driving here is simple, so don't be put off because you don't feel confident driving in another country. There are some amazing drives you don't want to miss out on. Over the years, I've seen too many European tourists thinking they can get public transport or walk around places like LA. Unfortunately, you're going to have to drive because it's hotter, further, and sometimes sketchier than you might think. In this video, I'm not going to go through every rule. I'm just going to touch upon some areas of driving you might not have heard much about. It's not meant to replace lessons and shouldn't be used in any legal defense. If you want more info, go to dmv.org. Right, let's start the tips with that big one. So, in America, you're allowed to turn right on a red light, as long as it's safe to do so. Well, everywhere except New York City. Just make sure you check for oncoming traffic from all directions when doing so. You can turn right on 95% of red lights, but always remember to check for signs that say you can't. In urban areas, the light might be green, but if you're turning right, be aware that pedestrians may have also been given the green light on the crosswalk at the same time. In the UK, we're used to going on green without thinking, so don't assume that green means go in this situation. Don't rush away. Check for pedestrians before you make that turn. Speaking of pedestrians, they have the right of way out here. In England, the person walking will have to wait for cars to pass but here the car always stops. Hopefully that will stop people throwing things at your rental car too. Normal roads are dominated by stop signs. Sometimes it's for traffic calming or keeping roads moving in busier times, but when there's a stop sign on almost all small roads, you've got to pay attention. This is even more important on an all-way stop, where up to four people are looking to use an intersection. The basic rule is that you go in the order of who arrived first. It's not always that easy to remember whose turn it is. I always like to say I won that one or came second so I remember which order to go in. If two people stop at the same time and they are both continuing straight, they can go at the same time. If two stop at the same time and one is looking to turn, the person going straight should go first. If you're both turning and turn up at the same time, then the person turning right has the right of way. If three people stop at the same time, then the person with no one to the right goes first, then the person next to them. If you all arrive at a very similar time, then once the first person goes, you all take it in turns from the right-hand side. And if you've got all of that in one go, you're lying. Being able to use sat-nav or GPS is a godsend out here because it really can help you plan which lane to be in ahead of a turn. For example, if I'm turning left and then right, I'll want to be in the right filter lane at the lights or stop sign. That way I can ease into the next street without having to beg someone to let me into that lane. While we're talking about satellite navigation, I've got a cool plan with three in the UK which has free unlimited roaming data in the States. This means that I can use Waze or Google Maps as normal and I don't have to pay for an expensive GPS from the car hire company. Back in England, I kind of like the thrill of how low I can get my tank before I get to a petrol station. If you're doing a long drive through the mountains or desert here though, there really won't be a service station or even a town that you can pop into for 50 miles or more. So check that fuel gauge in the miles your map says you're going to travel every time you get in the car. I found that I can't use pay at pump out here for some reason. 
So what you need to do is go into the petrol station and say how much money you'd like to be put through your pump. Don't worry if you ask for $50 and only use $40 because it will automatically be credited back to you. So out here you don't have to hold the hose because there's a little pin you can push in which means your hands are free and you can walk around and use the windscreen washer at every place. Getting onto motorways can be crazy at times because they don't have very long slip roads out here. Most cars will usually let you in easily though. A good rule of thumb is that if you're ahead of a vehicle as you're merging, they should let you in. This sign is one of the best on the planet if you aren't alone in the car. It means you can take this special lane to avoid traffic. Modern carpools have their own section of the road so no one can jump in. They also have their own secret exits and freeway changes so you don't have to actually get back onto the main carriageway and cross five lanes of traffic to get off. It means you can slip past some hefty traffic queues and the crazy lane changing that can go on. So you get to sit in a fast moving lane all to yourself. Your sat nav will tell you when you need to come off a motorway. In England we have junctions that are often 10 to 15 minutes apart and a maximum of four lanes to get across. In America there are junctions every 15 to 20 seconds and sometimes eight lanes of traffic to get across. So whenever I first come out here I always look and when it's three miles till I have to come off at the junction then I know I can get across nice and safely. In England though I'd probably wait until a mile and a half, one mile. Very different out here though. Hopefully that will get you to your junction in time safely. The middle section of this kind of road looks like it's a natural barrier, which it is, but it's also a left-hand turning lane on smaller roads. Make sure one of the yellow lines is broken as you can't use it if it's solid double yellow lines. So they're my top tips for driving out here. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope it really helps you with your epic road trips. If you haven't seen ours on the Pacific Coast Highway, click up here, otherwise, Safe travels. Yeah.